Probably the single biggest visual thing about the new R18 in comparison to its predecessors is that it's got a roof. It's the first time, I think since 1999, that Audi has entered into Le Mans with a car with a roof. And it's the first time ever they've entered into a, a Le Mans with a car with right-hand drive. And so that does influence driver changes a lot, principally because I'm the only one that will know how to drive right-hand drive coming from the island. But uh, also, it means that we've got to sort of, I would say, change the way we work. Normally, if I'm in the car, I come in, stop, jump out, go into the passenger side, the new driver gets in, and then I buckle them in. But I can do it over the top, we've got lots of space. Suddenly we've got very restricted space, and so you have to slide out, you have to pull your seat out, the next one goes in, the refueler's right next to you, and the driver helper, if there is one, has to come in through the passenger door side. So it's all a little bit cramped, and that is something that uh, will, I would say, take a lot of tuning. It's not something that is instantaneously fast, because still, we have to change drivers within about 25 seconds. Being in a closed car after so many years in an open top car, I found it quite refreshing in a way. Uh, you, when you're driving down the long straights at 320 kilometers per hour in an open car, your head gets buffeted around quite a lot. Even though you can see everything around about you, it's quite physical. And now we can sit there without any of this buffeting, it's very quiet inside for the driver. There is a heat issue because uh, you have definitely got more temperature in the cockpit, but the designers have done a pretty good job of trying to vent air into the cockpit to keep us drivers cool, which is a critical part of performance as well. There is a slight, uh, I would say, visibility restriction in some corners, some areas, um, but that is because of the main big A pillar, which is a safety structure. It's a safety structure for the top of the roll hoop because if there is anything, any incident, and Audi's very, very strong in particular on this point, I would say they, they look at the regulations and the safety requirements that are made by the organisers and then take it one step further for their own peace of mind. And uh, that A pillar and the whole sort of cockpit structure and the safety cell around about the driver and the seating is all part of that process. I think it's quite exciting now in 2011 for me because with the new regulation base the different manufacturers have looked at it and gone in different directions we've got a now a very small light v6 turbo diesel engine uh, Peugeot have gone with a v8 turbo diesel engine both with closed cockpit cars then we've got Acura the Honda in America and it's gone with a v8 normally aspirated open top car and then you've got Aston Martin with an inline six petrol turbo with an open top car. So there's four main manufacturers with four different ideas on the best way to try to win Le Mans. And that's a pretty exciting part of it. The battle between the diesel and the petrol is one side, but I think the big battle is between the teams and the teams that are able to maximize everything from the start of the Le Mans race to the end, trying to be able to run that 24-hour event or a season's racing in one day with the minimal amount of problems and the fastest amount of speed.